video follows on from my last video on how our eyes perceive colors. If you haven't seen that one yet, then I'll post the link in the description and do give it a watch. So in the last video, I introduced you guys to my little pink speaker. This one. However, a lot of people told me that it looks more orange or peach than pink. In fact, the entire video sort of had an orangish tinge to it. Now that's partly due to my laziness in editing and also because I kind of forgot to set the white balance in my camera. But that gives me the opportunity to tell you guys all about white balance. Now you may have observed that different kinds of light bulbs give out a different color of light. For example, certain light bulbs give out a yellowish colored light. Now when you hold a piece of white paper in any light, the white paper will reflect the color which is being emitted by the source of light. For example, check out this piece of paper. Now if I change the white balance in my camera, this is how it will look like. And my pink speaker, it's again some weird color, but definitely not pink. And neither am I. Let's just go back to normal, right? There, this is better. Now as we saw, it wasn't just the white paper which changed in color. It was all the objects in the room. The way other colors are captured in the camera depends on what it perceives as white. The camera is going to record all the other colors with the assumption that this is the truest white. When we go in a different type of light, we must change the camera settings and let the camera know that this is what white looks like in that particular light. If we don't, we'll have a weird tinge on our images. Now, like I mentioned, for our cameras, we can set it manually. But what about our eye? What happens when we enter a room with a different colored light in it? What's happening with the white balance there? Luckily, we don't have to worry about that as our brain is way too advanced. Our brain understands and interprets the lighting situations automatically and makes sure that we know that white is white, which is why we never seem to have this problem in real life. So basically, our brain has an auto white balance function. A few years ago, a certain picture of a dress made waves around the internet. While some people thought of this dress to be blue and black in color, others thought it's white and gold. Since it is just an image and we are not physically present there, our brain is making an assumption as to what kind of lighting conditions there are. Now for some people, their brain thinks that there is a lot of light falling on a blue and black colored dress. In particular, a yellow light falling on a blue and black colored dress. However, for other people, their brain is telling them that the dress is actually a white and gold dress under a bluish shadow. Now this problem occurs because we are seeing it in a picture and the picture has a slight tinge on it. It is probably not corrected for white balance and the lighting is just not too good. If we see it in person, our brain will automatically understand what the real lighting situation is and hence this problem will never occur when we are actually looking at the dress in person. By the way, the real color of the dress is blue and black. What color did you guys see it as? Let me know in the comments and also let me know how you like this video.